Good afternoon. I'm Olivia Thomas, and I'm an at-large member of the AGLI Board of Directors, and it's my esteemed honor to welcome you all to the 2015 Mary Harriman Award Luncheon. I've been to many annual conferences, and this is always one of my favorite parts, so I'm especially happy to be presiding today. The Mary Harriman Community Leadership Award is the most prestigious honor we bestow upon an individual league member. We award it to someone who has set herself apart by championing a better future for her community. The Mary Harriman Award reminds us all of what we, as individuals, can accomplish for our leagues, our communities, and the junior league movement when we are not limited by doubts, but empowered by confidence in our ability to make a difference. In keeping with the theme of this year's luncheon, which is designed to celebrate truly outstanding women who possess the pioneering spirit of its namesake, I will now introduce a very special group of attendees. We are pleased to have with us today three previous Mary Harriman Award winners. Samira Medad of the Junior League of Mexico City was last year's award winner, for those of you who were with us last year. Colleen Willoughby from the Junior League of Seattle, our 2009 winner. And Debbie Taylor Tate from the Junior League of Nashville, Nashville, who was bestowed this award in 2006. And I've been at all of those annual conferences to see them get these awards, so this is very special. Thank you, ladies, for all that you have done and continue to do for the Junior League and for your communities. Now, please enjoy lunch, and AGLI President Ellen Rose will be up here in a little while to uh, begin the official award ceremony. Enjoy your lunch. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. It is my extraordinary pleasure this afternoon to tell you about a woman with a boundless capacity for philanthropy and leadership. Because she has embodied the vision of our founder in every aspect of her life, Lida Hill of the Junior League of Dallas is the winner of the 2015 Mary Harriman Award for Community Leadership. Though she committed to donating the entirety of her holdings to charity when she joined the Elite Giving Pledge in 2010, Lida has never seen her wealth as the limit to her ability to serve in all aspects of her life. As a philanthropist, volunteer, entrepreneur, and booster of public institutions, her innovations and accomplishments are legion. She created the Volunteer Connection which sits at the vital juncture of supply and demand, matching volunteers with organizations in need. The concept was replicated in 70 cities across the United States, and Lida was honored with the President's Volunteer Action Award and an appointment to President Ronald Reagan's Advisory Council on Private Sector Initiatives. She lent her mathematics know-how to the League by serving in positions requiring financial savvy, and ultimately served as the first president who also was a professional businesswoman, having built her company, Hill World Travel, into the largest travel agency in the country at the time. She spearheaded a campaign for $5 million to build a new headquarters. She not only broke gender barriers by working as a female executive in a male-dominated world, but she also broke with industry tradition by incorporating computers into her business. In 1975, she was invited into the Young President's Organization, becoming one of the first women in its membership. Lida's business acumen combined with her own personal battle with breast cancer to inspire investments in game-changing scientific and medical developments. She launched Remeditex Ventures, which invests in early biomedical research by universities and healthcare institutions, 
and the Oklahoma Breast Care Center. In 2013, Lida became the only living single woman to make the Philanthropy 50, the annual list of America's most generous donors, her gifts amounting to tens of millions of dollars to date. Among the recipients of her generosity are her alma mater, the Hockaday School, which will use her contributions to fund a STEM program, and the University of Colorado's U Teach, which prepares a new generation of math and science teachers. She has underwritten a substantive challenge grant to Meals on Wheels, funded the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center's Moonshots program, as well as the Center for Brain Health, which aids the recovery of military veterans from traumatic brain injuries. She has supported numerous environmental and marine conservation efforts by the Nature Conservancy and the Pew Charitable Trusts. In addition, Lida gives her time and ideas to a wide variety of causes, including the Visiting Nurses Association, the Dallas Chapter of the World Presidents Organization, the Crystal Charity Ball, the Dallas and Texas Chapters of the American Heart Association, and Easter Seals of North Texas, among many, many others. For her uber volunteerism, Lida was given the Governor's Award as the Outstanding Volunteer in Texas in 1988. I don't get interested in something that can be done easily, she says. Well, Mary Harriman couldn't have said it better. Please join me in congratulating Lida Hunt Hill, the 2015 winner of the Mary Harriman Community Leadership Award. Like Mary Harriman, Lida Hill has transformed a life of privilege into a platform for social reform. The granddaughter of oil man H.L. Hunt, she is a successful entrepreneur who has devoted her life to philanthropy and community service. Growing up in a home where volunteerism was expected, Lida became an energetic volunteer at an early age and has carried that spirit of volunteerism into her 70s. When Lida joined the Junior League of Dallas in 1965, she jumped right in and never looked back. I was the president and Lida was the president the next year. Lida's prime predilection is for action. She wants to see things happen. She's very inclined to find a way to get things done that ought to be done. And that's exactly what the Junior League does in the community. So it made her a great leader. In 1982, she became JLD's first president with a career outside the home, bringing her business expertise to benefit the league's leadership. During her presidency, she not only visited all 50 agencies supported at that time, but also led a capital campaign to construct a headquarters building and established an endowment for its maintenance. She still serves as the chair of the endowment fund. We were headquartered in a shopping center. We thought, you know, we really ought to think about getting a headquarters for ourselves. In 1983, JLD opened its headquarters, providing a home for tens of thousands of members to make a difference in Dallas. I've known Lida for a long time, since we were both students at the Hockaday School for Girls in Dallas. But I really got to know Lida when I followed her as treasurer of the Junior League. I also served with Lida on the Junior League Endowment Committee, and this was really her baby. She decided that the Junior League of Dallas needed to have some long-term endowment, some long-term sustainability. In 2011, she received the Junior League of Dallas's Lifetime Achievement Award for her decades of service and financial support of the league and the Dallas community. Lida credits the League with giving her the training and experience which has led her to considerable professional success. Shortly after graduating from Hollins University, Lida founded Hill World Travel. In the 1960s, when most women were not in the workforce, she built the largest travel agency in Dallas, and when she sold it, it was one of the largest in the country. Lida broke gender barriers, catering her business to and competing with male executives. In 1975, she was also one of the first women in the Young Presidents Organization. Lida is currently president of LH Holdings, a real estate, tourism, and venture investment firm. She is also the namesake of the Lida Hill Foundation, which is dedicated to making transformational advances in nature and science research and improving communities.
Lida also used her league training to benefit numerous community organizations, chairing boards for the Visiting Nurses Association, the Dallas Chapter of the World Presidents Association, the Crystal Charity Ball, the Dallas and Texas Chapters of the American Heart Association, the Fort Worth Stockyards, and many other organizations. Like she did for Junior League of Dallas, Lida led the charge on a capital campaign to build a headquarters building for the Visiting Nurses Association, which delivers Meals on Wheels. Her efforts provided a home base for an organization which now delivers 4,500 meals a day, over 1 million per year. In 1985, Lida created the Volunteer Connection to link willing individuals with charities that needed volunteers. She was tireless in promoting the program, recruiting the local NBC affiliate as a media partner. This highly successful program launched three volunteer centers. Her work was quickly noticed as 70 cities across America replicated her enormously successful program. For her efforts, she was honored by President Reagan with the Volunteer Action Award and appointed to President Reagan's Advisory Council on Private Sector Initiatives. In 1990, Lida started the Conversation with a Living Legend program in Dallas. We all met at Lida's office and we started brainstorming about what we could do um, to create an event and to help raise money for MD Anderson Cancer Center. The program presented world-class speakers to benefit MD Anderson. Over the past 25 years, the program has spread to seven cities and raised $29 million for cancer research and patient care initiatives at MD Anderson. My experience with the Junior League was just wonderful because it let me know about my city and the agencies in the city. Before that, when I came back from college, I had no experience with that. And so by being trained by the Junior League, I was taken out into the community and saw not only what was there, but what the needs were. And so then I was trained in what to do. And that has made my life so much better. For decades, Lida Hill has given her time and treasure to organizations in Dallas and across our country. While her generosity has certainly changed lives, it's her leadership and devotion to countless nonprofit groups that makes her the perfect recipient of the Association of Junior Leagues International Mary Harriman Award. Lida's gifts have immense, immeasurable, and far-reaching benefits to the community and to those touched by her lifelong dedication to philanthropy. But most important, she gives with humility and a servant's heart. It's a huge honor to receive the Mary Harriman Award, and I want to say thank you to Mary. And I want to say thank you on behalf of hundreds of communities who have benefited by trained volunteers. I want to say thank you on behalf of millions of people who have benefited from the volunteer services that Junior Leagues provide. And I want to say thank you on behalf of thousands of Junior Leaguers whose lives are so much richer because they're able to do the volunteering and become a trained volunteer. And now it is my honor to welcome this year's Mary Harriman Community Leadership Award winner, Lida Hunt Hill. Please come up. You just heard from uh, Dallas's best volunteer, and there's not a whole lot I can say after Laura. <laughs> and actually, America, one of America's great volunteers. I am, needless to say, overwhelmed and, and, and very appreciative of this honor. I want to thank the hundreds of volunteers who I've worked with to make things happen. 
Volunteers are a great team. I'm indebted to the Junior League for giving me the training to be successful. I was in the, when I was in the league, the Junior League taught me skills that I hadn't gotten in college, how to, um, th th things like managing people, um, interpersonal relations, organizing. I didn't get that in college, and oh yeah, public speaking. Where one or more are gathered, I will now, I will now speak. Um, <laughs> what's interesting, I've been asked over the years, well, you brought a lot of your business to the volunteer sector, and the truth of the matter is, things that I've learned from the Junior League, I've taken back to my businesses far more than I brought to the Junior League. When I was young, I didn't know who Lida was, and the Junior League gave me a chance to be successful and to succeed, and for that, that chance to prove myself to myself. And that has made all the difference in my life. Now I'm in the, I've been in the entrepreneurial field, um, and I've done a lot of philanthropy, but uh, a lot of um, volunteering, but now I'm in, from, I moved from entrepreneurism to philanthropeneurism. I'm in the philanthropy stage of my life, and I'm very fortunate because I have the training from all the training I've had from the nonprofit sector to bring with me so that I can not only make investments, but I can make impactful investments. It's not just about giving, it's about changing something that counts. So I want to thank you, Junior League, for training me to do what I'm doing now and having such great fun. Oh yeah, and there, there's one other thing um, that was alluded to in the remarks that I want to thank the Junior League for. Um, I was a very enthusiastic education chairman when, when I was uh, in the league, and um, so I put on all these seminars, and um, at one of the seminars, um, we didn't have enough people coming because I didn't know much, I didn't know, I was young, I didn't know enough to know that um, people under the age of 50 really didn't want to come to something, American Cancer's breast self-exam. <laughs> I just didn't know that, I mean, that, that, you know, I just didn't know that, um, I, was, I was very young, and so I, um, I called my committee and said, quick, 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 come, come, it's, it was a lot harder back then, we didn't have those cell phone things, and <clears throat> so, we, so, but I called her and said, quick, 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 come, come, come. Well, um, when I was 37, I had my first mastectomy, and the doctor told me, that was 36 years ago, and the doctor told me that because I'd looked and found it, I had saved my life. Thank you, Junior League, for saving my life, and I am spending my time in giving back. With the extra years that I have, I got to toss in one little piece because you all are young enough that you wouldn't, you wouldn't, most of you that you wouldn't know that um, 30, uh, 36 years ago, when the doc came in the day after surgery and said, um, "I've got good, I've got good news on the improvement in breast cancer survival," and I said, "That's great." This was back before Susan Komen um, had breast cancer. Um, he said, "You have a 50% chance of making five years." As you heard, I'm a math major. <laughs> that was a bummer. <laughs> that was a really bad day. But um, because I've had a lot of extra years, I'm very fortunate to have had those years and to have the Junior League training to allow me to continue to give back. And that's obviously the reason that um, investment in medical is uh, very important to me. And I'm trying to make the world a better place for all my nieces and nephews. I don't have kiddos. And um, I think that one of the things that will continue, no matter how far we go into the future, is that we will always need volunteers. Volunteers have more fun than anybody else. They live longer, the data is there. I'm a, I'm a big data person. The data is there. And um, I can assure you that what you learn in the Junior League, you will be able to take with you through the rest of your life, and you will be so grateful. And I certainly am. Thank you very much.
Good people. All right. Thank you, Lida. You are such an inspiration to all of us. Thank you for being a role model to junior league members everywhere. Like Mary Harriman, you've been guided throughout your life by an extraordinary sense of social responsibility and have leveraged your abundant abilities to be a catalyst for the improvement of Dallas, changing the landscape and its people forever. We are privileged to have you as a member of our organization and congratulate the delegates from the Junior League of Dallas who join in the celebration. And it's also so wonderful that your friends, Mary, Mary, Peggy, and Jean could be here today. Thank you for coming. Fantastic. And we have just two other little gifts for you from two of our uh, sponsors. We have something for you from Laura Lively. And also, they seem to know you well, from oh. Plugs, shoot, oh. <laughs> from Plugs. <laughs> I bought four pairs of shoes. You gotta go check out these shoes. They're really good. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So now before we break from this inspiring luncheon, I'd like to give you another reason to celebrate the extraordinary legacy of our founder. As many of you know, from our various communications on the subject, we're very proud to announce that Mary Harriman will at last be inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame as part of the institution's elite. <laughs> as part of the 2015 roster of only 10 amazing women. And this honor solidifies her proper place among other significant women throughout history, like Harriet Tubman, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, and Eleanor Roosevelt, among scores of others. The official induction ceremony will take place in October in Seneca Falls, New York, the epicenter of the US women's suffrage movement. So that's pretty exciting. And to celebrate uh, the festivities coming up in October, uh, AJLI has created a small and elegant memento to Mary Harriman's remarkable life. It says display the memento, but I don't see it. Anyway, it's a, it's a lovely luggage tag, and it's out there at the AJLI boutique. I did see it earlier. It's a limited edition piece. It's available through the duration of the conference at the boutique for $10, and monies raised will go towards celebrating Mary Harriman's induction in Seneca Falls. So please consider purchasing one for yourself or as a gift for a friend or mentor to support this great cause. So that is uh, the conclusion. Now Olivia comes up to close. Yeah, do it? Okay. So what an exciting day. <laughs> congratulations, Lida, and congratulations, Mary Harriman. Nice to be able to celebrate both of you on the same day. And this concludes our luncheon. So please feel free to take the table centerpieces as a keepsake, but be mindful of giving first preference to those leagues whose Mary Harriman award winners are depicted, and please leave the frames behind. <laughs> Enjoy the next set of workshops. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>